In this video, we present a clinical case of non-contact navigated laser coagulation in patient with peripheral retinal tear, central corneal opacity, corneal edema, and endothelial dystrophy. Fake emulsification with subsequent carotid transplantation were planned. Shameful corneal tomography shows significant anterior and posterior corneal irregularities and also areas of corneal thinning and thickening. An OCT shows marked changes of epithelium in the thelium and corneal stroma. The whole treatment process was performed under the circumstances on infrared fundus lightning. We used non-contact objective to make a fundus photo, then planned further treatment with three rows of practically confluent laser spots. Then we focused on the zone of peripheral changes by passing corneal opacity. After applying of several test burns, fundus photo was made to determine sufficiency of laser power. Then the treatment proceeded on the selected parameters. Maximal mydriasis and dye moisturing were crucial. Due to possibility of preplanned navigation treatment, laser machine tracks the eye movement and blinking, stopping the treatment automatically when needed. Color fundus, which was used during planning procedure, is automatically overlaid over live infrared peripheral retina image and must be approved by retina practitioner during treatment to deliver laser to appropriate area and to assure safety. As the treatment is done under the infrared light, at the end of procedure the color image was acquired to prove the sufficiency of treatment. Overlaid animation demonstrates retina whitening in place of laser application. Detailed report is prepared at the end of treatment procedure to document applied treatment energies and patterns. Indirect ophthalmoscopy performed two weeks after laser reveals the row of confluent pigmented coagulates.